Chapter 3 Poseidon's wrath, the city of Troy, lay bathed in the golden light of dawn, its majestic walls standing tall against the horizon. Yet, beneath this tranquil exterior, a storm was brewing, one that would unleash the wrath of Poseidon, god of the sea. Years earlier, King Laomedon of Troy had struck a bargain with Poseidon. In exchange for the god's assistance in constructing the city's impregnable walls, Laomedon promised a rich reward. But once the walls were built, the king's greed overcame him. He refused to honor his promise, dismissing Poseidon's contribution as trivial. Poseidon's anger simmered, his eyes darkening like the depths of the ocean. He summoned his power, and the seas began to churn with his fury. Waves crashed against the shores, growing taller and more violent with each passing moment. The skies darkened, and the wind howled with an intensity that sent shivers down the spines of those who dared to venture outside. Laomedon, oblivious to the impending disaster, continued his day as usual, but the people of Troy felt the shift in the air, a sense of dread settling over the city. Suddenly, the ground trembled and a deafening roar filled the sky. The sea, now a monstrous wall of water, surged toward Troy. The flood hit with a force that shattered the city's defenses. Walls that had stood for generations crumbled under the relentless assault. Buildings were swept away, their foundations torn asunder. People screamed and scrambled for safety, but the water was merciless engulfing everything in its path. Laomedon, too, was caught in the chaos, his cries for mercy drowned out by the roaring deluge. Poseidon watched from the depths, his fury unabated. He had warned the mortals of the consequences of their treachery, and now they paid the price. As the floodwaters receded, Troy lay in ruins, a stark reminder of the gods' wrath. Yet, Poseidon's fury was not limited to the mortal realm. High atop Mount Olympus, he often clashed with his brother Zeus. Their arguments shook the very heavens, lightning flashing and thunder booming as they fought for dominance. Poseidon, ever the challenger, would not yield easily. Their battles were fierce, each one a testament to the power and pride of the gods. Despite his fearsome temper, Poseidon was not without a sense of justice. He punished those who deserved it, but he could also show mercy. Once, a humble fisherman, who had inadvertently offended the god, offered heartfelt apologies and a gift of the sea's finest treasures. Touched by the man's sincerity, Poseidon forgave him, calming the waters around his village and ensuring bountiful catches for years to come. In the end, Poseidon's wrath and mercy were two sides of the same coin, each defining his influence over the realms of gods and men. His actions shaped the world, a constant reminder of the power of the sea and the god who ruled it. And so, Poseidon's legacy endured, his name spoken with a mixture of fear and reverence for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this epic journey of quest and valor. If you enjoyed Poseidon's story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mythological adventures. Until next time, may friendship guide your path and courage light your way.